we also do a bit of beer archaeology, breathing new life into ancient brewing practices. Opportunities to go back in time and make these liquid time capsules allow us to bring that color back into the brewing world. A perfect example is chicha. Chicha is the national beverage of Peru, so it's a corn-based beer. To get the conversion of starch to sugars in the corn, we use the traditional method of actually chewing on the corn. Human saliva has the enzyme that helps with that conversion. In the early stages of brewing, grain is mixed with hot water so complex starches can be broken down into simple sugars. Yeast can then convert the sugar into alcohol. Today, modern brewers use malted barley, which already contains the enzyme needed for this conversion. But ancient civilizations like the Incas learned to chew grain like corn since saliva naturally contains the enzyme that breaks down starches. Back at Dogfish, saliva is meeting science in our quality control lab. Technicians Katrinka Housley and Carl Arnberg are on a mission to find out if Dogfish has any super chewers. Open. Work it, work it. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead. Carl and Katrinka have to design a lab procedure to test the effectiveness of everyone's spit at dogfish. Oh, God. This lofty pursuit begins with the understanding that everyone's saliva contains at least some amount of amylase, the enzyme that'll break down starch. Historically, in South America, women chew the corn because the assumption is that women have more alpha families, and we're just trying to figure out if there's any validity to that. The next step is just to collect samples of spit. I'm not terribly excited about that. Back at Milton, Katrinka and Carl are on the prowl to collect saliva from all our co-workers. You can run, but you can't hide. They'll bring it back to the lab, test it, and determine whose saliva passes the amylase test. Tracy, I need your saliva. <laughs> you can tell me why you're not getting it. <laughs> We're going to test your amylase levels. The quality control department have gathered saliva samples from nearly all the staff. All right. All right. Let's get to test it. Oh, jeez. Oh, why is that spit so brown? Oh, isn't that nasty? In just a few days, we're going to try our hand at brewing chicha, an ancient Peruvian beer made from corn chewed by people. Carl and Katrinka are going to test the samples to find out who at Dogfish has enough amylase, the enzyme in spit that will make them successful chewers. All right, dose half a mil starch into each. Shake them up and then let them sit. Starch is a complex chain of individual simple sugars, like a string of pearls. Amylase, a digestive enzyme, can break the sugars apart. The more amylase in the saliva, the faster the process takes place. So now we set the timer to 10 minutes, and then at the end we put iodine in to uh, see what our color is. When iodine is added to the solution, if the conversion has taken place, the solution turns brown, meaning the saliva has passed. If not enough amylase is present, the starches will still be in long chains. The iodine bonds with the starch, turning the solution blue. This means the saliva has failed. Brown is good, blue is bad. 